In this series, we are going to cover four types of insurances, being life insurance, total permanent disability, also known as TPD, trauma, also known as critical illness, and income protection. YouTube, today we're gonna to talk about income protection. Now, why are you able to do the large majority of what you do? Why are you able to buy food? Why are you able to pay for your mortgage? It's not because you have a lump sum of money. It's usually because you earn an income. Now, income protection protects you if you were to lose your income. Now, what exactly is income protection? Income protection protects you if you were to suffer from an accident or sickness. Now, what you can do is with income protection, you can protect up to 75% of your income. With some insurance policies, you can actually also cover a superannuation contribution. Now, the main things to understand with income protection are the waiting periods and the benefit periods. Now, you as an individual can choose your waiting period. Waiting periods is how long you have to be off work due to an accident or sickness before you start getting paid. Now, these waiting periods are 14 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days, and they can go all the way up to one year. So for example, if you were a tradie and you broke your leg, you probably wouldn't be able to go back to work at full capacity for at least six weeks. So in the first two weeks, your 14 day wait, you would not receive any income protection. However, after two weeks, you would start receiving an income protection benefit from your insurance company. Now, how much are you going to pay for income protection? Well, it's gonna depend on how much cover you have, your occupation, your gender, but the main things that are gonna influence your premiums and the cost of your insurance are your waiting periods and your benefit periods. Now, another thing that's gonna impact price is your benefit period. Now, your benefit period is how long that insurance pays you for. Now, benefit periods range from one to five years, and they can also cover you up to the age of 65 or 70, depending on the product provider. Now, there are some changes. However, these could potentially still be available to you. Now, what this means is, obviously, if you're off work due to a broken leg, you don't necessarily need to get paid until you're 65. But something to consider is if something serious happens to you. For example, if you suffer from a heart attack, or cancer, you might be off work for an extended period of time. Now, an age 65 benefit period means after your waiting period, say it's 90 days, you will start receiving an income. So, how do you decide on your waiting period? Things to consider is one, how many sick days you have, how much annual leave you have, and also how much money you have in your bank account, and how long you would usually be okay for. If you're self-employed, obviously you just need to depend on your cash savings. So you might need to nominate a shorter waiting period than someone that has sick days and annual leave accrued. So how do you decide on your benefit period? Once again, the only reason you're able to do what you do is due to your income. It's not because you have a large sum of money. So if you were to lose your income and you lost the ability to ever go back to work, you'd be stuck. So if you lost the ability to go back to work for five years, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years, you would lose the ability to obviously retain the lifestyle that you have, retain the expenses you have. One thing to consider is the cost, but what you'll find is two, five and age 65 benefit periods usually aren't much different. Now, how do you pay for income protection? What you can do is you can pay for it 100% through superannuation. So when funding income protection through superannuation, you do get a 15% deduction. However, you do get limited features and benefits in comparison if you were to fund the income protection outside of super. Now, when funding income protection outside of superannuation, you actually get a marginal tax rate deduction. So you actually get to claim the premium that you pay on your tax return. Now, why is that? Why does the government let you do that? The main reason is they want to incentivize you to take out cover because if you're not receiving income protection, guess what? You're going to have to be on a government benefit. So if you're paying for cover, they say thank you for protecting us from having to pay you a benefit. So here's the tax deduction. When you're doing this, you also have access to superior benefits and features. However, a lot of people might not have the cash flow in order to be able to do this. Maybe you're like, okay, I really see the benefits of funding my insurance 
outside of superannuation because of the features and benefits. However, I don't have enough cash flow to be able to cover the premiums. Another way of doing it is actually funding 75 to 95% of the premiums inside of superannuation and then the remainder out of pocket. Now, what's the benefit of this? Obviously, this reduces your cash flow implication if that's a problem for you. But the good thing about it is you get access to the superior features and benefits. So how do you take out income protection? Well, you can take out default insurance when it comes to superannuations. However, the features and benefits aren't necessarily very good. You can also call a hotline and say, yo, I need income protection. Can you hook me up? And they'll give you a policy, but it's not fully underwritten. So what that means is that insurer might not actually cover you when you need the cover most. The best way to get income protection is to get a tailored policy to see an insurance broker or an advisor to actually tailor a policy to suit your goals, needs, objectives, your financial position, and also ensure that it's funded correctly to not impact your cash flow and to also increase your tax benefit. Now, if you're stuck and you want us to further explain the features and benefits of income protection, please leave a comment. We're happy to do a deep dive, but this is just a general overview. And if you want us to help you with your income protection advice, all you need to do is go in the description box and hit the little link and that will help us help you when it comes to income protection. And while you're there, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.